We've talked about other prepositions and how to use them before. This time, it's all about the preposition for. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. This video right here is part of our series on prepositions. If you haven't seen the other videos yet, you can click right here on the i button to watch the other videos, okay? Now today, again, pag-uusapan natin is the preposition for, but before we do that, just a quick little plug. If you want to help support this channel or cause to democratize education here in the Philippines, one way that you can do that is through being a channel member. And all you have to do is to um, click on the i button right here to watch the video talking about that. Again, I'm so grateful to all our current channel members. Uh, you would see them because they have badges beside their names whenever they send a message or write a comment in the videos. Please thank them for me because their regular support helps me keep the lights on in this advocacy. Na ito. Okay, so salamat sa inyong lahat. And now that you have that out of the way, I'll switch over to my tablet. I'll see you in a bit. All right, now this time, pag usapan natin yung preposition of for. Uh, pero before that, just like a bit of a reminder, the word for can be used as a conjunction, as in itong example na ito, I had to leave for I was hungry, which is something that we talked about dun sa ating video pagdating sa fanboys or sa conjunctions. If you haven't watched that video yet, ilink ko na lang din dito sa taas sa i button so you can catch up. Okay? So, pag-usapan natin dun yung paggamit ng for as a conjunction. This time, it's all about for as a preposition. Okay? So, katulad dito, I only came for the movie. Now, you would notice, madalas sa mga prepositions, meron siyang kasunod na a noun or a verb. And sa case ng for, madalas. Okay? Ang kanyang gamit is all about yung function or purpose. Which is going to be the first thing that we're going to talk about. Kasi dito sa sentence na ito, sabi niya, I only came for the movie. Ibig sabihin, pumunta lang ako para sa pelikula. Ibig sabihin yun yung pinunta niya. And uh, one of the clues that we have when it comes to uh, thinking about for as a preposition is that we can use the phrase na para sa Okay? Kapag tinagalog natin, tas para sa kadalasan. Hindi lagi ha, kadalasan, pwedeng gamitin yung for. Now again, unang function is about use or sa paggamit. Kaya kung gagamit natin yung for, pwede siya for the purpose. Okay? This is meant for writing. So that is yung purpose niya. Yung use or gamit sa kanya. Okay, again, same thing. It's for writing, it's for painting. And if we are also talking about the recipient or who will benefit dun sa isang bagay na yon. For example, we have a sentence like this. I bought a good microphone, blank, my podcast. Okay? Now, yung podcast na yan, my podcast, yan yung magiging um, recipient ng microphone. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Itong microphone ay binili para sa podcast. Okay? At dahil we can say para sa, or dahil ito ay para dun sa use, purpose, at recipient, we can say, I bought, I bought a good, good microphone for my podcast. Okay? So again, that's the first and most common na paggamit sa preposition na for. Another use for it is when it comes to time and date. Okay? Now, sa for, pwede natin gamitin uh, yung for kapag we're talking about duration or haba ng oras that a certain event is going to uh, take place or mangyayari siya. For example, the operation would last for 8 hours. So again, yung kasunod doon is a period of time. Pwede rin siyang period of time as in years, decades. Pwede siyang, uh, pwede siyang for a century. Okay? It's a period of time. For example, I'll be gone blank a few hours. Hold down the fort. Okay? So maaalis daw siya ng ilang Oras, okay? It's a duration. Mawawala siya for that amount of time. So, ibig sabihin na, pwede natin sabihin na I'll be gone for a few hours. Hold down the fort. Now, yung hold down the fort, ang ibig sabihin lang yan is ikaw muna ang bahala. Okay? Ikaw mag-asikaso ng lahat. You are in charge. Okay? Now, pwede rin siya pagdating sa usapan ng future date. Okay? Ibig sabihin may mangyayari in the future na schedule ang bagay na ito. Example ng sentence, that meeting is scheduled blank next week. Okay? So, yung meeting, schedule siya sa isang later or future date. 
Okay? So, next week, that could be 4. That me meeting is scheduled for next week. Okay? The, the uh, album is set to be released for summer. Okay? For winter. Okay? So, again, pwede siyang future date or season or time or month. Okay? Now, another thing na related sa time is yung season or holiday. So, kapag may mga special na mangyayari, di ba? People don't eat meat for Easter or um, it's for Christmas. Or, dito sa sample natin, let's plan a birthday surprise or a surprise party, blank her birthday. So, para saan? It's a season, a holiday, or a special occasion, yung kanyang birthday. So, you can say, for her birthday. Let's plan a surprise party for her birthday. Okay? Now, some money naman, ginagamit natin yung for. Specifically, if we're talking about an amount that something cost or uh, yung kanyang binayaran to get that thing or an amount that someone earns. For example, a sentence like this, sabi, she sold her bag blank 20,000 pesos. So, magkano yung uh, kumaga, nakuha niya sa pagbebenta ng bag? Or pwede niya rin binili, di ba? Uh, kung i-phrase naman natin siya na she bought that bag blank 20,000 pesos, pwede rin yun. She bought that bag for 20,000 pesos. She sold her bag for 20,000 pesos. Okay? So, yung 20,000 pesos na yan is money that something cost. Pwede rin na for uh, yung wages or the amount someone earns. Uh, for example, I sold my company for 10 million pesos or uh, I work for 30,000 pesos a month or something like that. So again, pwede rin siya dun sa income or sa kinikita. Okay? Sa wages. Sa belief din, ginagamit na natin yung for, if you stand for something or uh, you are for something, ibig sabihin, it's something a person supports or sides with. Pwedeng something, pwedeng someone Right? I'm for adopting dogs instead of buying dogs. I'm for this. I'm for that. For example, we have this. I am blank good governance but not blank any individual politician. So, ibig sabihin nun, I am for good governance. Ako ay para sa or ako ay sumusuporta sa good governance but not for any individual politician. Ibig sabihin, pero hindi para sa isang individual na politiko. Okay? So, again, you can be for someone, you can be for a, an advocacy, a person, a belief. Okay, if it's some, something that you support and believe in, you can use the preposition for. Okay? Next, we can talk about for when it comes to empathy or feelings for other people. Ano yung sabihin nun? Kung ikaw ay nakakadama ng isang feeling na para sa ibang tao. Okay? Ibig sabihin, kung ikaw ay nagagalit para sa kanya... Diba? Parang may masamang nangyari sa kanya or may gumawa na masama sa kanya at kinagagalit mo yung ginawa sa kanya. You can say that I'm so mad for you or I'm so mad for yung nangyari sa sa'yo. For it happened to you. Okay? Uh, you, I'm so sad for you. I feel sorry for you. Like these feelings na palabas or para sa ibang tao, we can use the preposition for. Example would be this. It's not your fault. I feel sorry for you. Okay? So again, it's a feeling for someone else, okay, palabas na meron ka. Okay, parang empathy ang pinag-uusapan natin dito. You can be happy for someone, di ba? Kung ang best friend mo na engage or kinasal, di ba? I'm so happy for you. Okay, hindi I'm so happy to you. Or I'm so happy with you. You are happy, you are feeling that feeling para sa kanila. Okay? Now, pwede rin yung for sa place. If we're talking about a destination, specifically, a place someone or something is headed to, kung papunta siya doon, you are for din, doon sa lugar na yon. For example, they'll be leaving blank New Zealand in a year. So, dahil ito ay pupuntahan nila, okay, they will be leaving for New Zealand in a year. Now, iba ang leaving for New Zealand sa leaving New Zealand. Kapag wala yung for, okay, leaving New Zealand lang, ibig sabihin, nasa New Zealand sila ngayon, aalis sila ng New Zealand. Pero pag sinabi mo ang leaving for, ibig sabihin, wala pa sila sa New Zealand, papunta pa lang sila sa New Zealand. Okay, so always think about that. So, I am leaving for a place na pupuntahan ko. I am leaving blank, ibig sabihin yun yung place na kung nasaan ako ngayon. Okay? So, just something to think about, kasi marami nagugulahan doon. Isisingit ko na rin yung bound to, Okay? 
at saka bound 4. Meron tayong TikTok video din ito. Ililink ko na lang din sa comment section at saka sa, sa um, video natin. I'm not sure if may YouTube video na nun. But the idea is, again, if it's a destination, it has to be 4. Bound 4, um, bound 4 Quezon City, bound 4 Manila, bound 4 uh, the States. Pag bound 2, it's all about action. So, things are bound to happen, you're bound to succeed, you're bound to fail. Kapag lugar, four. Okay? So, again, it's a place na pupuntahan ng isang bagay o isang tao. Okay? The package is bound for the Philippines. Hindi bound to. Okay? Now, sa quiz natin ngayon, again, same thing do sa mga quizzes natin for, for prepositions. All you have to do is to look at the underlined at saka yung naka-in red na mga prepositions. And iisipin ninyo if you have to turn it into four or you can also leave it as it is para maging mas maayos yung ating paragraph. Okay? So, parang basically, sentence correction, inilalagay ninyo kung gagawin nyo siyang four o hindi. And if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. So, let's start with the first half nitong exercise na ito. Okay, uh, yung ibang parts mamaya sa, sa next slide natin. Pero para lang may space tayo to write on top of it, ganito natin siyang gagawin. Now, again, uh, sisimulan natin sa unang sentence. Sabi, I'm all with hard work, but I think we need to talk about the realities of life. Now, dito muna tayo sa unang naka-underline, yung with. I'm all with hard work. Na ang with kasi is about, di ba, togetherness, di ba? I'm with this person, kasama ka niya. Pero I'm all with hard work. Parang mas maganda if we use the preposition for. Okay? So again, yun yung gagawin natin the entire time dito. We'll ask ourselves if this is a good enough preposition or papalitan natin siya ng for. Now, kung gusto niyo matutunan yung paggamit ng preposition with, ilink ko na lang dito sa i button if you're watching on YouTube, yung ating video sa preposition with. Okay? Kasi meron tayong separate video about that. Now, next, but I think we need to talk about the realities of life. Now, tanong, kailangan ko bang palitan yung of ng for? Realities for life? Pag sinabi kasi natin for life, ang dating na nun is for forever. Okay? For your entire lifetime. Kasi ano na siya, duration or period of time. Pero ito ay realidad ng buhay, hindi realidad para sa buhay. Okay? Or para sa habang buhay. So, ibig sabihin nun, okay na yan, we will leave it at that. Okay na yung of. Next, life isn't fair, and I know that that may be hard with people to accept. So, mahirap daw para sa mga taong tanggapin. So, again, we use the translation para sa, no? So, mas maganda to kung for. So, I know that I know that may be hard for people, para sa mga people na tanggapin, but it's the truth. Okay? So, again, we're talking about sino yung tatanggap nito. Okay. Next, not, not everyone becomes financially successful. Because working hard. Now, if you notice, walang of dito. Kung because of working hard, pwede pa. Pero dahil wala, okay, we can use the word for. Not everyone becomes financially successful for working hard. Even those who leave the country to greener pastures. Okay, now this is a subtle error. So, some of you may not notice this. Kasi nasanay na tayo pag sinabing to destination. Okay, but... Mas maganda if we're going to use for here. Okay? You leave for greener pastures kasi ang idea nun is you are moving someplace else. Okay? You leave this country para sa mas magandang uh, pupuntahan or greener pastures. You can end up working 
with their living expenses and nothing more. So you work with, oh, di ba? You, ang mangyari daw magtatrabaho ka para sa ikabubuhay mo pero wala na. Ibig sabihin wala ka na maiipon. Di ba? Yun yung sinasabi nila lagi sa mga uh, overseas Filipinos natin dyan. So kaway-kaway na lang po sa comment section if any of you are working abroad, di ba? Yes, you earn dollars or yes, you earn euros pero that's also what you spend in the country. So hindi naman ibig sabihin na uh, kung maga yung conversion ng kinikita mo, eh, ganito kalaki eh, yun din yung may uuwi mo or may isa-save mo na money. Kasi, syempre, kailangan mo i- i- sundan din yung cost of living sa kung nasan ka. So, here, we would say, uh, can end up working for, nagtatrabaho sila para sa yung kanilang kinikita, pupunta sa living expenses and nothing more. Okay? Next. You may have to work in years, even decades, before you can buy a house. So, again, duration to, period of time, right? Nagtatrabaho ka lang ng makailang taon. So, we can turn this into four. You may have to work for years, even decades, before you can buy, buy a house to your family. Now, para sa pamilya, yung bahay, so this will be for your family. I don't say this to get you to feel sorry to yourself. Okay? Now, again, when you're feeling for someone else, diba? in this case, yourself, pero the, the feeling is there for a, for a recipient so, you don't feel sorry to yourself. You, see, you feel sorry for yourself. I say this to help quell the thirst with riches. Okay? Pag sabihing quell the thir- thirst, ibig sabihin para mapapawi yung uhaw eh, no? So, with riches ba yun o for? Diba? Para mawala yung gusto or yung pagnanasa para sa kayamanan. So, we will use for. Inst- and instead, encourage a hunger to growth and improvement. So, mas maganda dito kung for growth and improvement. Para sa pag-unlad at pag-improve. Now, twist natin ng konti, just as a bonus. Kapag sinabi ko dito na grow lang. Grow and improve instead of improvement, that's the case na pwede na yung two. Okay? So, a hunger to grow and improve. Pero kung growth and improvement, yan, for tayo. Okay? Now, I will make a separate video na lang sa pagpili ng preposition na 2 at 4, uh, which is coming soon. So, uh, subscribe na lang if you haven't yet for that. Okay? I hope you got all of these correctly. If you didn't, that's okay. I'll be posting more questions on my Instagram account. So, if you don't follow me yet, you can follow me at Like Maravilla on Instagram for the new quick quiz questions. Sa Instagram, sorry natin yung nalalagay. Malalaman nyo agad using the quiz function kung tama umuli yung sagot ninyo. And of course, kung may mga explainer videos for those questions, ililink din natin doon. And if you want the throwback questions, we post them naman sa at Team Laika on Instagram. Doon din yung mga updates at mga important announcements regarding sa educational aspect ng ginagawa natin. And if you're on TikTok, you can follow me at Team Laika for the educational content, math and English videos usually. Lahat ng educational content, pati mga quick quizzes na libre nyo rin masasagutan through the pulp function sa TikTok sa at Team Laika and at Laika Maravilla naman for the more personal topics, motivational videos, tips, advice, comedy videos, at ilang mga micro-vlogs with Hailey. Alright? See you online. Alright, I hope you learned something new today. If you didn't click thumbs up, make sure to share this video with your friends. Ano lang mag-exam din sila. Dato yung sarami tayong matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I may join the online or live review events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information. Don't forget na rin to subscribe and hit that bell. We have more videos coming up, especially sa grammar. So if you want to learn uh, more, don't forget to turn your notifications for all the updates dito sa channel na to para hindi nyo mamiss yung mga susunod pa nating mga premiere, live sessions, and of course, the new videos. Alright? Thanks for watching, and as we always say sa channel na to, never stop learning. Adja, adja, kain niyan. I'll see you in my next video, and bye for now. Alright, thank you for watching until the end of the video. If you want to learn more, there's a new video right here that you can click on. And if you want to get to know me on a more personal level, click right here to subscribe to my second channel. Alright, see you soon.